Hello everyone, Sergeant274. This is episode 6, I believe, in my beginner's guide to Dark Souls. Um, last time we came through um, this initial section here. Got the Drake Sword, the Claymore, and we were able, able to get underneath Hellkite. Come to the Undead Parish here. Or actually, Sunlight Altar. Is this called Sunlight Altar? Yes, yeah, is the Sunlight Altar. Um, bonfire and we're gonna proceed from here so before we do we are going to level up a little bit and in hopes to get our black knight oh wow we can only level up once there wow in that case endurance is always good it's never a bad thing uh, vitality is good for a beginner too the more health the better um, right now we have the drake sword and that doesn't scale um, so we're just going to keep that as is, and we're going to put one into Endurance, because Endurance will come in handy later on. <coughs> Alright, so now that we have um, that taken care of, we're going to go through this area, uh, and we'll show you how to do it. So, again, slow and steady. You have the Drake Sword. You will one-shot all these fools. Except that guy. You will not one-shot the, the, uh, the boar up there. Um, but before we do that, we're going to come over here, and if you want to farm for humanity, come down here. Just be prepared, because these guys can inflict poison on you. They go down in one shot, though. You can see the poison build up there. And unfortunately, I did not get a drop from them, but you can farm humanity that way, if you so wish. You can see the shield up there actually um, underneath my soul, or excuse me, humanity count slash meter is because the drake sword boosts some defenses of yours. Alright, so that's that. Now let me kill this guy again real quick. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> now we're going to take on Mr. Black Knight up here who has the Black Knight Greatsword, which is, if we get that drop, going to be amazing. But, okay. First of all, put this back on. Alright, definitely put that on. We are going to need that. Need all the defense we can for this guy. We're going to try to parry this guy. You remember the episode where I parried the first Black Knight? It's been a long time. There you go. Parry, repost. You can lure this guy down and try to play the backstab game with him if you want. Oh, that one you can parry that attack too, by the way. I just missed it. Alright, I'm not going to do that again. Do your overhand swing. Come on. There you go. And with the Drake Sword, people call the Noob Sword. Look at that. Two shots on a parry and repost. And oh my gosh, we got the Black Knight Great Sword, people. We are going to be balling. Now, I won't play the whole game with it because there's a chance that you might not get it. But, um,. If you do get it, like I was blessed with there, you can see it takes six or 18 dex and 32 strength. It actually takes less strength to two-hand it, around 22 or 24, I believe. Um, I'm not exactly sure of that. I made a weapons video on it, and I don't remember because it's been a long, long time. It's like half 16 plus eight or six so it's like 24 ish I think I don't know anyways uh, yeah that's a real good weapon it, it looks really cool too um, there it is looks really nice um, but we can't use it right now <laughs> we will later on though so but for now we will continue with the Drake sword all right, is this still... All right, I'm still fast rolling. All right. So with the Black Knight out the way, now we can come up here and... All right, there are two ways to do this, okay? And I'm kind of torn on how to show you new players how to do this. But... Basically, you can run by everyone or you can take everyone on... Um, one by one. 
I am going to show you how to run by them because that is the easiest way for a new player to handle this area. Guaranteed. Alright, what you want to do is come down here and no matter how much stamina or endurance you have, you'll be able to make it. Just run. Run up these stairs right here. You're not going to miss any items that are all that great, trust me. Run. Jump off there. Roll over here. Let that guy close the gate for you. And now you can kill these guys. Assuming they don't put under Nike Air Jordans and backstep. And there you go. Now you're past that entire area. All you missed up there are some, uh, what are those things up there? They attract enemies to you. I forget what they're called. Excuse me. And look, you can kill half the guys this way. Come on. Come here. And yeah, you play it safe like this. You can also, if you want to, open this back up. After doing that, let this guy out. Uh, I forgot about those guys up there. Ouch. Crossbow, that's all he has. Alright, so we're going to close it again just because I don't want the pig coming up here and I don't want those crossbow guys uh, getting me. But don't worry about that. You can also close the gate on people and it will kill them. Helpard, another extremely good weapon. The Helpard is a very nice weapon because it incorporates a thrusting attack and a thrusting attack can be done behind the cover of your shield like so like a well <laughs> like a spear trust me <laughs> actually maybe it can't be done behind the cover of your shield um with the helper spears it can be maybe not but oh crap this guy will come down here backstab dead you can see the helper actually be maybe more powerful yeah, the Helpert is more powerful right now. What 141 total damage on the right there than the Claymore is. But not as powerful as the Drake Sword, which is still at 200. So that's what we'll use for now. Alright, so the, if you get too close, that guy will come out at you. Come over here, and then you can go parry or pass that guy right away. I'm going to show you, like I said, beginners. Go up there. He will come out eventually. He has a rapier. So be careful when he does that stance. Don't attack him or he will parry, riposte, and probably kill you. Um, it's kind of hard to get behind him here in that area. So just make sure you keep your shield up. You can even do that with the Drake Sword. You can counterattack and kill him. You don't have to backstab him, but I would suggest um, getting to practice. Again with this guy. This guy drops the boulder side sword, which would be really nice to have. But it's rare. I've heard people say they get it pretty quickly, but um, I tend not to. <laughs> I tend to have to farm that quite often. Or uh, quite a bit just to uh, pick it up. Alright, now if you want to, you can come back and kill this boar now that those guys are cleared out. So, heal up here. <coughs> Open this thing. And I'm going to kill the boar now because there potentially you could get it, the fang boar helm. Which is actually pretty nice. You can kill the boar by luring him into the fire over here. Or you can do it an easier way. Which is running like a little girl. <laughs> but just lure him back up here. And he will come in here. And he will turn around, and he will give you give up his ass to you. Which is backstabbable one shot with a Drake sword. And yep, he dropped the Fang Boar helm, which is a very nice helm. It actually has lots of poise. Um, it will not let me fast roll though, as you can see. Is there anything I can do to make myself fast roll with it? There we go. There we go. There's our Fang Boar Helm. So that's that's nice. Uh, unfortunately, I can't use that. Who cares? All right. 
so now we've done that. <coughs> Alluring skulls, that's what the treasure is down there. Alright. So now come up here, and immediately to your right, there's going to be another one of the Balder Knights. So. Oh dear god. Stupid shield bash. There you go, two shot. And another Titanite Shard. Titanite Shards are going to be very nice for us. This guy here, again, if you don't want to wait for him, kick him, and kill him. Come back over here to your right will be another Spear guy. Again, kick him, and kill him. Down here is the way you would normally come in if you didn't run and... Uh, get through the gate before the guy closed it. You can see there also is the... here I'll show you that right away actually. There is the douche up there. There's the Alorian skull. And... yeah. Oh, by the way, I should show this part off. I'm sorry guys. If you didn't do it the way I did, you're in the gates closed, you have to come down here this guy will run from you, but be careful because some guy here is going to ambush you as soon as you do that. Doesn't matter because you got a good shield you can just block with. Be careful of the lock on. There you go. The reason for coming down here is if you didn't take the master key, you then get the mystery key right over here which will allow you to free um, Lawtrek. Oh my goodness, get out of my way table. These guys attack you pretty much right away, but your Drake Sword one-shots them. That's a soul down here if you really want it. Go get it like so. You will not die from this fall. There's nothing else over here except the white light, like I said, which is where we started out. Remember, I jumped down there to get the alluring skulls. Alright. Over here, there's a boulder knight. He has his back to you. If you're quiet and slow, you can sneak up on him and backstab him and kill him. Like so. <coughs> and he didn't drop anything. Over here is a knight shield. Um, it's slightly better, by slightly I mean one stability better than the heater shield, but you see there it weighs three and a half pounds heavier, or more, yeah, whatever. And again I have a retexture for it, but we're not going to use it because to me it's not worth it. The boulder shield is actually really nice. And um, another shield that I'll be buying pretty soon here is actually a very good shield to pick up early on and upgrade if you want to upgrade your shield. Alright, now that we've gotten we pretty much cleared out these guys here, um, you could possibly be low on health when you make it this far, and you're in desperate need of a bonfire. Well, good news, there's one really close to here, but you have this section to worry about, these people. Just lure them over here, one at a time, and, and you will be just fine. See? Nothing to it. This guy... You can run, circle around him, and backstab him, and he's a piece of pie. Piece of apple pie. Alright, <coughs> so heal up for this part. The bonfire is right over there, alright? Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know what to do. You know what, let's go in here. No, let's go over here. Alright. You come to that point in time, you're probably wanna gonna want to go save at a bonfire. You're not going to want to continue on. So, come on over here. Run down here. Here's the bonfire. Rest up. I am not going to level up now. Um, only because I'm going to come down here, talk to Andre. 
learn his gesture. And uh, at this point in time, we could level up our Claymore or Helpard. Um, but we're, <laughs> we're not going to right now. What we are going to do is purchase the Weapon Smith Box, Armor Smith Box, and a Repair Box. You can see here, too, you can get some other um, stuff. This is the shield I was talking about, but it's really not going to do us any good right now. Um, give us any more benefit than the uh, what we have. Um, so I'm going to actually pop one of these weak souls and there we go and purchase oh, these however you know what I'm thinking to myself as a new player you might not want to do that right now you might want to wait till you have more souls You know what? I'm gonna at least, you know, what? just buy it all. All right, <laughs> you'll get souls later. Don't worry about it. You will. There's no real point in not buying that because you will that will come in um, handy later. All right, new players. Before I go, I'm gonna show you a tactic to defeat this uh, the Titanite demon down here. Okay? The tactic does not include getting shot in the belly with lightning okay now we're gonna heal up here see we can repair our equipment here there we go and we're gonna go take on mr. Titanite demon here there's an easy way to take on the Titanite demons in this game you basically hug one side of him and he will die quickly Okay, so just make sure you don't get hit by that and hug this side right here. Hug that side and wail on him. But try not to get caught by a pillar. Just make sure you keep your guard up and then just wail on him right there. And when he does his little jump thing, just roll out the way. There you go. That's all you have to do. This spot of him, he cannot kill you or really hit you from there. Alright, I need to get my stamina back up. He's going to do a jumping attack. Like I said, just roll when he does that. Just come over here. I'm kind of in a bad spot here. I'm kind of stuck. There you go. That's all you have to do. He barely hit me once. And Demon Titanite. He drops his weapon too, which is actually a very good weapon too. Um, to use early on. But he did not there for us. <laughs> it's a tight night catching pole. Excuse me. All right. So there you go. We got rid of the tight night demon pretty pretty easily. That's really all you have to do is keep your guard up when he's jumping and just roll. Keep to that side and uh, just you know strafe around him like that and attack him there. And he cannot hit you with his attacks. Just don't go too far because he can hit you with a tail. All right. Can we level up? We can level up once here. So, we are going to level up our, um, probably our decks. We need to get that up to 18 because we have that Black Knight Greatsword. So, alright. Thank you everyone for watching. Next episode, we will go up to the Undead Parish. We'll take on the Chandler there. Um, that Tower Knight will defeat... And then uh, we'll figure out something else to do before we take on the gargoyles. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.